The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you knew, know me, then you will also know my Father. For from now on you do know him and you have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to Philip, Have I been with you for so long a time and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his work. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else, believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. This is the good news of our salvation. May 3 is the feast of St. Philip and James. And in the liturgy for today, we have this conversation at the Last Supper between Philip and Jesus. St. John records this conversation, which is very deep, as an important instruction for us because our Christian faith experience is what we would say Trinitarian. We come to know the Father through Jesus and the Father and Jesus send us the Holy Spirit to enlighten us and bond us together into the new family of the Triune God. And St. John is using this conversation to also tell us that the disciples who were living with Jesus for three years or more, they loved him, they admired him, they were astounding at what he was saying and doing. And yet, even at the Last Supper, they did not understand the full message that he was teaching them, not only by what he said, but by what he did. And so he was telling us that God, our Heavenly Father, is a transcendental lover. And to go to the third chapter of St. John's Gospel, the 16th verse, he says, God so loved the world that he sent his only Son, that those who believe in him might not perish, but have eternal life. God is searching for us, our Heavenly Father, and he's searching for us by his Son, Jesus, who is 100% human, 
100% divine. Jesus, in other words, is God, Son of God, in human terms. And Philip did not understand this yet. And what do we have here? We have the interaction, the reciprocity, the mutuality between Jesus and his Father. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, in the 11th chapter, the 25th to the 30th verse, we have the same message, Jesus, during his public ministry. And Jesus was overwhelmed by what the Father was doing through him. Transcendental lover with God in human terms. Because he wasn't just going to the educated, the elite, those who were out, uh, wealthy and exercising leadership. He thanked the Father for revealing to the little ones what he kept from the wise. And then he said, No one knows the Son, but the Father. And no one knows the Father, but the Son, and those to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. And that is who we are in our own day and age. Then Jesus went on to say basically what he's saying to Philip and his whole community at the Last Supper. Come to me, all you who are weary and find life burdensome, and I will give you rest. And learn from me, for I am gentle and humble hearted. That's what he was telling Philip, James, and the apostles during his public ministry, but would only make it powerful them, for them to understand after his resurrection and his ascension because it will be at that time that we learn that Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father the glorified Jesus the risen Jesus the Jesus who is present in the church through the Holy Spirit and so even at the Last Supper after living years with Jesus Philip didn't go to the heart of the matter that Jesus is coming to us from the Father who loves us and wants us to come to him through Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. This is the basis of our commitment and communion with Jesus in an interpersonal relationship, an I-thou relationship. And he's telling us in today's gospel, this is the type of relationship he has with his heavenly Father. They are intimate friends. They know each other through and through, as all intimate friends do. And they love each other totally, completely, in transparency. This is what Jesus' mission and life was all about. He was to achieve this relationship with his Father in human terms and teach us to love the way the Father loves him and the way he loves the Father in a Christian community because after this in this passage he said a new commandment, com a commandment I give to you you must love one another as I love the Father and as I love you.